Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. For today's review, we're going to take a look at the Nika Heroes of the Storm Archangel of Justice Tyrell figure. And this figure comes in a clamshell packaging or blister pack. And it's fully sealed at the back, so to open the guy, you do have to cut him out. And on the back, you can see uh, there's a bit of bile about him and some other figures in the series. And here he is sitting in his little tray. So he's held in by one cable tie and his sword is held in by some tape which you can just can remove and take the sword out. So that's not too bad. And I'll just quickly take this off. And here he is out of the packaging and first impressions he looks really really good. Um, design is pretty spot on to the how he looks on, in the game so that's really nice it's got the wings on the back so yeah let's take a look at his sword first and this is his sword uh, called El Druin I think and it's pretty nicely sculpted the paint detail isn't as tidy as I would have liked but um, there is a bit going on there so that's quite nice and it pulls apart at the hilt so you can slide it into his hands without having to stretch his hands open so that's good and it is keyed in the back there so there is only one way to put it in so you can't turn it around and put it in the other way which doesn't really matter I, th I guess and that's how he looks holding his sword and here's a closer look at the figure so very nice paint app pretty tidy all throughout the figure and there's a lot happening there all of his gold armor parts basically have a silver trim around it and it's all been done very nicely and very tidily um, nice little print detail in there in the armor and it just gives it a bit of extra detail otherwise I think the armor would look quite plain because there's a lot of open space there and the shoulder pads they're very very soft so they move out of the way very easily for articulation As you can see there they just kind of bend out of the way and on his body this cloth bit is actually slightly separated so you can actually put you know something through it so this bit is soft and I guess that helps with the articulation which I'll show you later on as well you can see that part just moving out of the way the loincloth in the front is soft these bits on the side are soft so everything is designed pretty much to move out of the way for articulation so that's really good moving around to the back that piece is soft this is the same part oh, not not the same part but same as the front it's very soft and it moves out of the way and the wings here they're not detachable but they are on joints so you can rotate and swing them around so that's quite cool um, the only thing to watch out for is these spiky bits on the side it's actually hard and quite pointy so just watch out for that but the ones on his feet they're nice and soft so nothing to worry about there and let's take a look at the articulation now so with his head he can move it kind of side to side a little bit but it's pretty restricted by the um, massive collar on his armor not so much up and down either so it's pretty much just you know tiny movements for the neck and for his shoulders he can lift up his arm that far so all the way up 90 degrees which is good and rotates around but you have to move things out of the way but it is you can get it all the way around he has a bicep swivel so all the way around there the elbow joint is quite restricted so he does have a single joint there but as you can see you know you get tiny bit of movement movement there not even 30 degrees I don't know my mass isn't that good but yeah not much bend there and then coming down to his waist he can swivel from side to side as I mentioned earlier tiny bit of crunching action so you can crunch forward that far and back that far and tiny bit of tilting from side to side as well so that's okay 
and then waste basically no waste articulation I don't think let me just double check oops glue just came off yep no waste articulation so all you're gonna get in terms of rotation on his body is the ab crunch joint and with his feet he can kick forward that far kick back that far he can do that much of a split and the joint here you can see is ratcheted so you can feel that little ratcheting there so that's quite nice and there is a thigh rotation I think hidden in there no nope. okay there is no there is no thigh rotation I thought it would have been hidden in there but it doesn't seem to want to rotate and then single jointed knee which gives him less than 90 degrees so that's not ideal but He's a pretty heavily armored guy, so I guess it's okay. And then feet tilts down that much, tilts up that much, and very, very limited in terms of ankle pivot, but it does kind of go out more than it does come in. So that's kind of weird. And in terms of height, he comes to about 165 millimeters, which is about 6.49 inches and now for some size comparisons first up is the heroes of the storm Arthas figure from the same series here he is with mythic legions atlas here he is with DC icons rebirth Superman here he is with SS figure arts Tony Stark and here he is with Marvel Legends Cyclops if you played the game you definitely like this line I mean, Nika has done a really good job of sculpting these guys, and they look like they came straight out of the game. Um, the only problem with this guy, obviously, is the limited articulation. So he's got all the right joints in all the right places, but, you know, his head doesn't really move that much. His elbow barely gives him any bend. And, um, yeah, his ankle pivot is very lacking, so you can't really do any you know wide stances so you can't really make good use of those awesome hip joints but in terms of a display piece he looks really good and um, I think he'll look really good with the rest of my gaming figurines so yeah if you're a fan of the game or if you're a fan of Nika's sculpting um, on this guy definitely pick him up he's um, oh, actually I forgot to mention the articulation on the wrist didn't I so yeah he's got ball jointed wrist so he can go in and out and spin around okay and that's it for my review hope you guys enjoyed it and um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for another toy review